before audiences were immersed in an exciting world where blue aliens flew floppy-eared birds right out of the screen and onto their laps, the original vision of 3D filmmaking began with archaic technology, poor delivery mediums, and a lot less dazzle. In this segment, we explore the creation and eventual explosion of the 3D experience across cinemas around the world. Well, James Cameron would like to take all the credit for 3D after Avatar changed the landscape of cinema for movie fans the world over, even he would have to admit that many advancements in 3D took place well before we saw his vision come to life. In fact, the technology can be traced back all the way to 1844, when David Brewster invented what he called the stereoscope, the world's first camera capable of taking still pictures in 3D. A decade later, in 1855, the advent of the kinematoscope, a stereoscopic camera allowed for filmmakers to bring 3D to moving pictures, ushering in the days of real 3D cinema. It wasn't until 1915, however, when anaglyph technology came about, that mainstream films began receiving 3D treatment using two different colored lenses to direct each eye to different images. By 1922, British filmmaker Smit Tepley released The Power of Love, the first 3D movie experience. As the TV began to find its way into more and more homes around the world, a 3D format called Natural Vision was pitched as the future of TV and film, and was even briefly considered for an Alfred Hitchcock film. The 1960s heralded the most significant leap forward with the creation of Space Vision 3D a format that took two images and printed them over each other, allowing films to be projected through a single projector instead of the two projectors required by previous 3D formats. Space 3D would eventually bring about a flurry of horror films, some elevating to cult classics from the 80s, including Friday the 13th Part 3 and Jaws 3D. While the 90s saw the Hollywood 3D film craze diminish to almost nothing, 3D was embraced as the format of choice for wide format IMAX films that lent themselves perfectly to immersive audience experiences. It was using this format that James Cameron fell in love with 3D while producing Secrets of the Deep, his documentary follow-up to Titanic. Believing that the future of film was 3D filmmaking, Cameron once again retreated from the limelight to create the world of Pandora and developed the motion capture 3D technology that would make Avatar the groundbreaking 3D experience that it was and solidify 3D as a film format that's here to stay. Not only were theaters jumping on board, but major television networks, the likes of ESPN, have started to get into broadcasting in 3D to bring your favorite events to you. Now, with 3D Blu-ray players, 3D TVs now available for home viewing, and networks getting ready to pump it out, we can't help but wonder, what's next? <laughs>